but the only successful players in the future who will be actually merging both expertise. The old traditional and the requirement of the industry with the new technology coming in and all the new initiatives. One of the themes that, that at least to me stood out here was on the whole topic of, let's call, we can call it digitalization, we can call it automation, we can call it automated technologies. Uh, basically have a, let's call it relatively simple question. It's all well and fine that we talk about automated trucks, for example, or we could also talk about automated vessels, automated airplanes. Realistically, do we have the technology ready to go or what is the time frame? And the second question to that is, does the industry have the right people? Because one thing is we had a lot of people that we were capable of sending back home. But if we're looking into a future which is highly automated, relies on different kinds of technologies, different business processes, do we actually have the right people or do we need to change something there? We would love to think actually in Etihad and Etihad Cargo, we were actually starting working on digitalization and artificial intelligence back in 2018. And without the, the proper digitalization actually being implemented earlier before the pandemic, we were not to be able to operate on even actually 100% more uh, capacity of everyone while they are at home. And uh, we started maybe with the small steps within the industry related to the commercials, online bookings portals, you know, the remote system for our employees to work from home and everything went well. But uh, what I believe actually the pandemic already accelerated all the plans. You know, everyone have the plans, everyone have the initiative. We work closely with universities like the Khalifa University in Abu Dhabi, which is specialized in tech and uh, high technology. We worked, we have created our innovation center to focus into this area. And happily we launched, uh, I think it's almost a month uh, ago now, we implemented the first artificial intelligence within our warehouse and hub. So that artificial intelligence will help us actually to utilize the loadability building within the warehouse for the pellets and to utilize the aircraft to the maximum to support the industry. Yes, we are taking a very small steps everywhere, but I think it's become clearly with the pandemic that this needs to be accelerated. And the opportunity being into the pandemic that now we have enough fund into the industry. So I think most of the players are more open to invest more. It's actually a matter of working with the right strategic partner, and that's where to go. Everyone have an initiative. I think today there is the leaders in the industry are willing to jump into this new world. It's mm -hmm. not going to be easy because of the traditional way industry and cargo used to work, but with more talented people, young people are coming to the industry, and that's what we realized with all the logistics. As you said, there is lots of academics who start working on logistics. You know, I know at least few universities have a spirit a special program within the master right. and bachelor's focus on the logistics. All this young blood coming back to the industry with the artificial intelligence available, with the digitalization, with the world, how it's going. Uh, you mentioned the Bitcoin and the blockchains in general. That's a fact it's coming anyway. We cannot hold it, we cannot delay it, even if as a traditional industry we are trying to co op with it, but the only successful players in the future who will be actually merging both expertise the old traditional and the requirement of the industry with the new technology coming in and all the new initiatives.